Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists of the Roses, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In the last episode, I originally had the tutorial in there, but I decided to cut it out because it was over 26 to 27 minutes long and very long-winded. So, rather than do that, I'll just explain the rules as we move along. So, we're gonna have our first opponent, Weevil. Hehehe! <laughs> so, you're the legendary Rose Duelist! Prepare to face the sting of my insect deck! Alright, so you gotta take on Weevil Underwood and make sure your deck cost is lower than his. Also, he plays on a specific field, like the forest. Have a couple mountain spaces as well. Like, certain monsters will have a type advantage on certain points of the field. So, you can press X to, like, uh, move your deck leader, you know, like, anywhere that's glowing. Or you can just press square to summon a monster anywhere on these blue squares. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got Fake Trap, Bright Castle, and Kaiser Dragon. Kaiser Dragon I cannot summon because it has seven stars, and every time you start a duel you only get four. Like for instance, Neo the Magic Swordsman can be summoned right now, as could the White Dolphin. Uh, could I power up Neo the Magic Swordsman with the Bright Castle? Yes I can! That may not be such a bad combo. So, I think I'm going to summon him. I'll leave him face down. Like, I can put him face up with, like, a L2 and R2. R2 to go face up, L2 to go back face down. Anytime you move a card, it will automatically go into attack mode. Like, it can't be put into defense mode and then move. So I think we're going to leave him face down. Like, he will not be able to see what monster I have right now. I'll probably play my Bright Castle on the next turn. Give him a false sense of security, thinking uh, his monster will be fine. Looks like he's actually going for it. I'm impressed. So here's what I'm thinking. We're going to engage this monster right now. It might be a spell or a trap. I have no idea. And then we play... Hmm, kind of Kabuto. That's not very good. We'll play the Bright Castle spell card. You gain, like, a three summoning points each turn, which is very valuable. There we go, it gets a power increase. But, see, he still does not know what that monster is. I think I'll move you over here for now. And I'll end my turn. I'm not gonna summon a monster this turn. I don't think I can, because I already played a spell. You can probably only make, like, one play per turn. Ugh! Kamakiri Kama Kama Man only has 1650. Remember, any monsters that have a type advantage gain 500 attack and defense points, and they can move two spaces if they were flipped face up. If they're face down, they still only go one space, but they still get the point bonus. So, because my attack points were higher, I'm able to counter. What is pretty cool is, like, each monster gets its own attack animation, which is pretty awesome. Like, they put a lot of detail into, like, over hundreds of monsters. You can probably press buttons to skip it if you don't want to see it all. That's entirely up to you. I say after a while, I'll probably just, like, skip it to put, like, like, sped up so you just see the damage happen. Alright, everything is coming up Millhouse right now, but it could definitely stand to be a lot better. What can I do with Kana Kabuto and Beaver Warrior? Probably nothing right now. Don't think I'm gonna do much at the moment, so... I'm gonna play the Fake Trap. Disposable Trap that triggers when Harpy's Feather Duster is activated and nullifies the card's effect. Well, I'm pretty sure Weevil does not have Harpy's Feather Duster. So, I think I'll just get rid of it. I'll leave, leave Weevil at false sense of security thinking this trap might actually hurt him even though it probably will do no such thing. I think it's time to start advancing my Neo the Magic Swordsman. That monster's not going to be able to do anything. It stayed in defense mode the whole time. That one over there might be able to do something. So let's see what I got to counteract that. Uh, two white dolphins, really? I don't really care for either of them. So I'll tell you what. I got an idea. I will play the Beaver Warrior in defense mode. Maybe I should actually make him go for that unit right there. 
may not be such a bad idea. But I can probably get more out of it if he's in defense mode. I still need to start moving this Neo closer to his deck master before he starts drawing a really good card. Now there is something called fusions. You know, we can take two cards, combine them, and they do a lot of damage. Ooh, this could be bad. He's got a Rose Spectre of Done. That's 2,500 attack points. That's stronger than any other monster I have. This could get real nasty real fast if I have nothing to defend against that. My, not even my Kaiser Dragon could beat that. Luckily, my Beaver Warrior was in defense mode, so I lose zero life points. Otherwise, I'm in for a very bad situation. Remember, Rose Spectre of Dun gets the power bonus, so she can move two spaces. Like, if I just left my deck leader right there, he's definitely going to take a direct hit. So I'm going to need something to defend. Uh, Legendary Sword. That can't go towards Neo, can it? Let's see. Can I bring my Legendary Sword up there? It's a Spellcaster, but no, I can't. But it's a Swordsman, so of course I'm going to be thrown off. He's probably trying to defend somehow. Oh, that was like a trap or a spell. No, I don't want to surrender. That's select button. Don't do that. Yeah, I'll just end my turn right away. I, I did not move! I made a mistake! I forgot that I didn't put anything there! Oh, that that's a huge error right there on my part. And I didn't even lay a card, so I'm stuck with the same hand. Well, that sucks. I gotta start moving my units back. I can't move it over here because then she just go this way. And I can't, like, uh, put something down there. She's gonna choose the other path. The only thing I can do is probably just put my fake trap in front. So I'll have to move my units back for now. I got a little bit too aggressive for my own good, and that's what it might cost me. Okay, that wasn't a trap. That would have triggered right there. I'm thinking the best thing to do is just get rid of some of these cards. Oh, let's see. Kaiser Dragon is not going to do extra. No, no, don't do anything there. Though that's a wasteland. I was thinking that was a mountain. No, that's not going to work for me either. So I'm thinking what we do is probably just, like throw away this card in defense mode. Try to get rid of this boy Dolphin and kind of Kabuto. If they don't fuse, uh, the top one will just... Like, the latter one will just scrap the, uh, former one. So that works for me. Man, taking that direct hit because I forgot to move a unit in front to protect me? That could be costly! I might end up losing this duel right there. Because the trap would not have done anything, it just gets automatically destroyed. Hmm. It's not doing anything to uh, stop my Neo the Magic Swordsman. That means that he probably doesn't have anything to counter it. Okay, I I'm, I'm in a bad situation right now. What do I have that I can use? I have a Leo Wizard that does nothing for me. And a Moon Envoy that also does nothing for me. Even if I just use the Legendary Sword, it's not going to work. And I can't use Legendary Sword on Kaiser Dragon. That would have made things a little bit too easy. If I still had my Bright Castle, that would have been good. Oh yeah, I need to start moving my Neo. Oh yeah, I got that basic insect cornered right now. He has to attack it. Okay, first things first. Move your unit right there. And then bring something to defend ya. I'm not gonna use my Kaiser Dragon, that'll be a waste. Let me see if I can fuse White Dolphin and Moon Envoy. Okay, they can fuse! To the WoW Warrior. That's just another fish type monster, so let Legendary Sword's not gonna work on that either. Okay, I have to be very careful because if I 
do not have any room to summon a monster, like around here. Like, if I'm in the corner and these three spaces are occupied by the enemy, I cannot do anything. I would automatically lose. So I guess I'll have to end my turn again. Okay, he's getting desperate. Okay, things are getting pretty grim right now, all because of that one mistake. Okay, you press the circle button to skip the animation, because we have already seen Rose Spectre attack. Okay, Big Insect is not a problem. I should have plenty of monsters that can defeat it. I like how the battle scene changes based on the environment you're in. Now what do I have that can have an advantage on Wasteland? I think it's dinosaur and zombie monsters? Maybe rock? I don't know. Okay, things are looking pretty grim at this point. But maybe I can start mounting a big comeback. I mean, I gotta do something. Taking like a big hit of 2,500 in one attack is uh, not gonna help matters at all. Oh god, he started closing in on me. Look, if I decide to attack that big insect with a monster, then Rose Spectre is going to get me. Do I have anything that can defend against this? No, I don't. If you lose, it's no big deal. You can always just try again, which is nice. But I don't want to lose. I want to win. Can I make it any more obvious? I'm going to keep closing in on you, basic insect. I mean, there's just no other way around it. But I need at least two monsters to be able to do something. Okay. This is bad. This is real bad. Like, I can't just move over there. I literally have nothing to defend me. I'm just gonna have to put this in defense mode. Big Insect's not gonna be able to beat that, it'll just tie. I might be able to buy myself some time if he attacks with Big Insect first. It's literally my only option. As unfortunate as that sounds, I gotta go this route. Okay. Sometimes it just all depends on what you draw. Like, whatever you draw is really going to make a big difference. Oh, yeah, we'll attack with that monster first. Well, that buys me a little bit of time. Not a lot, but it's something. As soon as I can defeat that monster, we're going to be sitting pretty. Oh, you actually went for it! Ah, oh, Quagar Hercules, that's gonna beat my Neo! Things are starting to fall apart at the seams at this time. I don't like it at all. Well, you had a good run, Neo, I, I must say. Because Weevil turtled for so long, that gave him valuable time to get a good monster. Keep in mind, he didn't even have to power up that Quagar Hercules. It's got the field bonus. None of these do anything for me either! Okay. Maybe I can try something. I'm thinking... Silver Fang and Goddess of the Third Eye. Like, let's just throw a Hail Mary. Nickel Gal number two. Well, uh, it's got 1900 attack points. But it's just not good enough. Oh, man. That would have been so close to beating it. Right there. Well, I can try something. 
It's not gonna be able to beat that. It's just like 100 points shy. Wait, can I use a legendary sword on that? It could not have used the legendary sword. Okay, so it didn't matter. I was thinking if I could have used the legendary sword, I probably would have had a chance to win. Okay, I'm kind of trapped. So I guess I had to go this route. Oh, he had a negate attack! Chalk this one up as a loss, guys. We're not going to be able to win. It's because he drew that card. That one card pretty much fucked us. Pardon the language, but we lost. Alright, you lose, and you'll just get taunted, but you get a chance to try again. Well, you get unlimited chances. Which is pretty nice. Ugh, wow. Wow! I win! You lose! I'm good! You stink! Do they say that in 15th century in Europe? I don't think so. Everybody stunk at that time. Well, seriously, most of them did. <laughs> Anyways, let's try again. Alright, I'm not gonna lose this time. I'm just gonna say that much right now. Uh, Eldine. I suppose that could help me in some way. I got Neo again, which is really nice, so I'm gonna start moving you up. Alright, what can I use Eldine with? I'd say I might have some ideas. It all depends on what I draw. Amazon of the Sea is not going to be able to do much either. Probably not going to be able to summon anything this turn. Alright, let's butt heads for now and see what happens. Who knows, I might be able to beat that monster. Nope! Just by 50 points it beat me. Oh dear. Well, on the plus side, every five duels, you get to reincarnate a card. What that means is you sacrifice a card, and then you just get three new cards in exchange. You may get something pretty good, you may get something terrible. I think it's based on what card you offer. I don't know if you can do it if you have, like, no cards in your chest. You might be able to. But I guess I'll have to take a card out of my deck and then just reincarnate it and see what happens. Hmm, can't do anything with this. Let me think. Carbonala Warrior, I say I might be able to fuse something with it. Not with this current hand, though. I think the best thing for us to do is probably put you in the... No, I'll put you in defense mode. Okay, I'm pretty much on the fence here. Hopefully I can draw something really amazing. I will have to rely on my uh, fusions, unfortunately, based on this level. Okay, I figured Amazon on the seas would get wrecked. Only 1,400 defense points, and of course it's not going to have a point advantage in the forest. Okay, now we're back to square one when I'm in a bad spot. Do I have anything I can beat that Kuagata Alpha? Ooh! I got a Thunder Dragon! That can be good with a lot of things. Not currently with what I have, but uh, once I draw something really good... Like I say, if I can get a Thunder Dragon with any other kind of dragon, I might be set. But for now, we're still back at square one. Hmm. If I put it over here, the Kuagata Alpha will ha be back to 1250. So I'm thinking we might actually have to put our Thunder Dragon in defense mode and just leave it right there in that one spot. It'll lose the point advantage when it's going to attack a monster in the wasteland, because that's where the battle will take place. That's pretty much my best option right now. 
Unless it decides to ignore the monster and just go straight for me. Okay, it didn't ignore the monster. Okay, there we go. That helped a bit. Actually, that helped a lot. On, Thunder Dragon, I'm counting on you to get me a win. Man, if only I left that card in attack mode. Looking back, I realize if I just put it in attack mode, I would have won that. <sighs> Shit. Can't believe I just put that in defense mode thing and that would save me. That did jack shit. Okay, I should probably, like, stall one more turn. That means I gotta put down something really weak. So I guess the White Dolphin will do, because I want to have enough summoning points to get Carbon Olive Warrior and Legendary Sword ready. That's gonna be my best chance. So I gotta leave everything right here. Giving him time to bring in a good monster, though. Oh, he's retreating! Okay. I guess he knows he's got nothing to go around this. Okay, Wing Egg Elf. Huh, that could be good for a lot of things, too. Except I don't have them. So I'm thinking we just go with this little tandem right now. Let's see if you're going to feel a little bit confident going after this. I think he's still going to try to attack, so let's just leave that right here. Just creating a little nest egg for myself because I really need it. Oh, you went for it! Oh, you just made the biggest mistake of your life, Weevil. Small victories, that's what makes the difference here. Oh, that was your attack? I got a better one. Watch this. Look my blue eyes, it's so pretty. <laughs> Cut you down to size. Now again, this battle would not have been necessary if I left my Thunder Dragon in attack mode, but... Oh well, it's all a learning process. Tactical RPGs were not exactly my thing. And this is a bit of a tactical RPG to some extent. Okay, he's moving a unit up. This is what worries me. Can't do anything with these monsters. Uh, let's see. I do have a Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number 2. What I have right now is not going to work with it. I think I have to start moving my units up. That might be the best way to go about things. I'm going to have to fortify my defenses a little bit too. This'll work for now. I should also move my white dolphin forward so I can start moving my unit away from the corner. By unit, I mean my deck master, which is the most important unit. <laughs> like, if I put myself in the corner, I have very little options. Leo Wizard again. Okay. I'm not going to be able to do much with that right now. Hopefully my Thunder Dragon can stay alive. Because I would imagine he'd be very valuable moving forward. Let's see if you have more than 2,000 attack points to go towards that. Uh, let's get rid of the White Dolphin for now. 
Ooh, seven color fish. That's actually a very potent monster. Huh. That was actually a lucky fusion. I didn't even know that was possible. Well, the things you learn. I gotta remember that for next time. Like, that's a straight 1800 attack points. Oh, it's a Quaker Hercules. Well, if you go after my Thunder Dragon, you're gonna be down to 1900, but that still beats it. Oh, this could be nasty. That was my good monster, too. My seven color fish is not gonna beat that either. It can probably beat another monster, but that's gonna be it. Burning Land. If I use that, I can destroy a lot of the forest. I think we should do that. But where would be a good spot to play it? Okay, I'm thinking... I move my seven colored fish back. And then I play Burning Land right around here. Because it'll just transform into normal terrain where nobody gets a point bonus. No, no, no. Don't do that. If I play it right here, I can take a lot of the forest away from Weevil. There you go, because it's like two spaces in proportion to like where you activated it. So it makes this little diamond formation right there. I still have a bit of a wasteland on my side, so that's pretty cool. I this should definitely move my Aquagar Hercules back. Actually, I don't have to, because he's not going to move two spaces anymore. That's cool. Alright, so I can probably just leave it right here, but I'm going to move my unit back. I can't move my seven color fish anymore, because I already moved it, that's fine. I'll leave my Eldeen right here. Thunder Dragon's good in defense mode. Let's call it a turn. Okay, this might be a very good move. But only time will tell to see if that move works for me. Well, you destroyed my Thunder Dragon. I'll give you that. At least you're nowhere in the confines of the forest. So I gotta think about what's gonna be able to beat this guy. Right now, I got very little, if anything. He's moving his units forward. I don't like that. Okay, I have a Charubin the Fire Knight. That could really help me. Let's see. If I do the Charubin the Fire Knight, what do I have that's really good with it? Uh, right now, what I got is not that great. So, yeah. I mean, the most I can do is probably this. Yeah, I made a Mavilus. That's pretty nice. Still doesn't do anything against these monsters. Have to put you in defense mode for now. Keep moving my units away. Putting myself in the forest so I gotta start moving up. I'm gonna make you go for me instead of me go for you. I'm tilting pretty bad here because I'm not aggressive enough. And how can I be aggressive enough? I don't have anything that can counteract what he's got. Oh, you just barely beat that seven color fish. Had another Quagar Hercules. Oh, so this is how the normal field looks. It's like you're fighting in a temple. Oh, the music, it's so intense. Which pretty much just seals my demise there. Good right now. Oh, that weird noise there. Of 
we're basically in desperation mode right now. Went after my Eldeen for some reason. Okay, that was a bit of a weird decision. You could have just tried to, like, put me on the fence even further. Going in defense mode? Huh. Okay, that was a weird decision. But I respect you for it. Okay. Hinotama Soul. That could be pretty good right now. What can I use it with? Now what I have is not very good. I don't have anything. This is a pretty bad situation I'm in right now. I mean, I can stay one more turn here and be safe. But eventually this guy's gonna catch up to me. I'll have to put a little weak monster in defense mode for now. Does get a type. Does get a point advantage in the forest. I did not notice that. Okay, let's put these guys together and just get rid of them. Yeah, I figured that would happen, so we'll put you right here. Ugh, God. I'm not gonna win at this rate. Look, this is just gonna be chalked up as a loss unless I get a really, really good fusion. Like, fusion cards are pretty much the only powerful thing I have that can win it for me. Other than that, I'm just shit out of luck. Like, not only do you, your deck cost have to be lower than theirs, but they get a point advantage because most of their cards are advantageous in this area anyway. It's kind of like just super hard mode. I mean, you gotta be really good. You gotta be really lucky. I dumped two cards, so hopefully that'll help me out substantially. Uh, it doesn't. Okay, I'm screwed right now. Wait a minute, if I move this unit over here, it's gonna cost me a lot of life points. I'll have to move you over here. Protect myself just by putting this white dolphin over here. I want to keep the bright castle because it might help me later. I'm not fully surrendering yet. He's able to play a card every turn. Well, almost every turn. I have a wind monster going against an earth monster. I might be able to spellbind him by uh, attribute advantage. No, I don't. It's the other way around. It's Earth that spellbinds Wind. Okay. I'll remember that for next time. Yeah, what I mean by that is regardless of the battle, if your attribute has an advantage, you can spellbind them for one turn. Which is actually pretty neat. Huh. Swordsman from a foreign land. This gives me an idea. Because this guy is able to defeat a monster instantly. I should definitely use that. He'll get me out of a tight situation, that's for sure. Oh, you took the bait. You went for it. Because remember, any monster that battles this card is destroyed. So, there might still be hope. I still gotta deal with that other Quagar Hercules, though. Even though it's not moving. That, that card's moving. That one isn't. So, I might still be fine. Okay, I have enough points to summon a Kaiser Dragon, if I can get it. Which I don't. Gotta got us with a third eye, though. What can I combine it with? None, none of these, that's for sure. Just 
destroys all spell cards, so... It might be some of these are spell cards. But they're not traps. So I can't do anything about those right now. I think I'll just lay a bright castle over here for now. Listen in defense mode to make him think it's a monster. Then I'll just... end my turn right here, I suppose. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Down to my last 20 cards. Well, that's just half your deck, really. And Weevil's still got 25. I don't know if he's even able to play anything else, except for maybe another monster, because I just destroyed one. Got a Haniwa! What the frick I'm gonna do with a Haniwa? Might have something for it. Except I don't really have much. Let's see. I don't have much, no. I think I'll just leave a Hinotama soul around here for now. Fortify my defenses just a little bit. And then call it a turn. He's, he's hardly ever attacking me at all, like... Like, he doesn't seem to care. He's just waiting for me to, like, deek myself out. He's probably got a trap waiting for me. So I might still have a little bit of a chance if I get a good draw. And that's not it. Trachodon. Really? Okay. I'll place you right over here. Actually, go in the wasteland, so I'll leave you right here. I'm building on my summon points because if I get a really good draw, that'll help substantially. It doesn't seem to have a lot going for him right now, especially if they're on the normal field. So I'm gonna keep stalling until I get something really good. Two Goddess of the Third Eyes is not good. But, it could give me something. I think I should get rid of this Aaliyah wizard, so I'll put you right here. Maybe if I start, like, uh, moving some of my units to attack, I could start, like, causing him to break his formation. Even if my monster is shit. I love how he always just goes to each card in the same order that he put them down or something. Like there's no breaking from that at all. I have an Occubeam. Well, that, that's probably not gonna help me much either. Well, we'll just leave it here regardless. So I have some defenses on pretty much all sides. Expect these videos to be long, especially if you like taking on an opponent for the first time, because whatever cards you get is not gonna help ya. Oh, we actually went for it. A Hunter Spider! Okay, I'm actually able to beat its attack points. So at least we exposed that monster. Okay, it's something. Not a lot, but it's something. That doesn't hurt me. Yeah, I'm fine. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Still behind, though. But at least we know that's a hunter spider. Armail? Huh, that gives me an idea. I'll move you right over here. I'm thinking like an Armail would be very good. Whatever I got, that is. 
Okay, it's a warrior type, and I guess, you know, we can do something with it. But not right now. Let's see. We can power up, like, uh, any light monster by 500 points. I do have this. So maybe I should use Gaza of the Third Eye and bring in the Bright Castle. I already moved my Bright Castle. Alright, that's fine. So I don't want to bring in my Gaza of the Third Eye yet. So maybe I'll bring something over here. Not over the Hinotama Soul. That would be very important to keep that. Ugh. Decisions to make here. Maybe Hinotama's soul and Armel would work. Let's try that little strategy. Oh, here we go! Ah, the Flame Swordsman! 300 points from battling dinosaur monsters. Well, luckily, I'm not battling those. So I need to get this guy in the forest pronto. Okay, it doesn't really do much because it's a warrior, not a pyro monster, but it's something! It's 1,800 attack points! Okay, it's time to start bouncing things around. That hunter spider in the forest is 2,100. That's gonna be a problem. At least I have something that'll work. Hero of the East. Uh, okay. Not gonna be able to do much with that. Maybe if I put these two together. Let's see what happens. Probably nothing. Oh, hang on! Minomushi Warrior? Uh, but it's only 1,300 attack points. That's not gonna help me either. Things are looking pretty grim right now. My flame swords are not gonna beat that. I don't have a bright. The bright castle is obviously not gonna work with that, unfortunately. I don't have any cards that go towards the flame swordsman. Oh, gotta start moving you out. That's my hand right now. Okay, well at least I'll have two cards to draw next time. I gotta put all my hopes and dreams into pretty much anything that can win it for me. He's, he's moving in now! This is what frightens me a great deal, like he's moving in. Okay, Kaiser Dragon is really good. But it's not good enough. I do have the Bright Castle though! So here's what I'm thinking. We'll move you out, like right here, and then we'll move the Kaiser Dragon right here. Maximum number of monsters on the field, okay. I suppose I can use the Flame Swordsman to get rid of you. Okay, you did your job there, I'm really proud. Then we'll move the Kaiser Dragon right here. There, 2,800 attack points. Yeah, beat that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, time to mount the comeback. If I can draw a certain card, like an electric-type card that's weak, oh man, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon would be amazing. That's 2,800 points by itself. Maybe I don't need it. I mean, it's not gonna matter. The worst thing that can happen is if my, uh, Kaiser Dragon got paralyzed. Oh, you just made the biggest mistake of your life, Jabroni. Oh, this was just what I needed. Come on, get in there and wreck his ass. I want a hug! 
So I'll just put you in an egg made of my own spit. Oh, it's not good enough. I guess I'll just die now. Maybe I should have saved my Bright Castle for the fusion then, but eh, it probably doesn't matter that much. Okay, thanks to this, I should be able to move my units in and take out that Quagar Hercules. Now we should have him on the fence. Can't really summon another monster right now. Well, luckily I don't need to. It's time to start going to town. Oh, he had a negate attack. Well, that cancels that attack, but it's still not going to save him. I still got my other units, though, which is good. I should really start moving in, too, with the other ones. If I can leave my monsters up on, on the normal side, he doesn't get that point advantage. Thus, I'm able to do more damage. Hmm, let's see what we got here. Maybe I can put these two together. No, wait, I got an idea. How about... Cannon the Sword Mistress. What can I fuse that with? Right now, nothing in my hand. But let's try a uh, Cannon the Sword Mistress and Beaver Warrior. Oh, wait, they do fuse. Nickel Gal number two. Nope, that's my own monster. <laughs> I don't want to destroy my own monster. Nickel Gal number two is really good in the forest, apparently. So you can actually stay there if you want to. Alright. Things have definitely started to turn around for me. I can only hope that he has nothing that can neutralize my Kaiser Dragon completely. If he does, I'm screwed. Okay, he's turtling. That means he has nothing to counteract this. I gotta start moving in my Flame Swordsman, too. Hard Armor? Okay, well that's something. I got two mo Moon Envoys as well. Let's see... Would these two go well together? I doubt it, but... I gotta start mixing it up. Okay, the, I can't put any monsters down. Alright. I should definitely try to get rid of some monsters. Hard armor, and... Let's see. Goddess of the Third Eye? Well, I needed to get rid of monsters, if anything else. I'll probably have to do that again. Okay, there's no trap there. There's no trap there. I think we got the strongest monster on the field. We might have this. Oh, I already moved my flame swordsman, and Trachodon is better off staying there. Okay, haha. <laughs> we got him turning tail. I'm worried about those two cards right next to the basic insect. They could be traps. At this point, we got a really good position to win. Air Knight Parshath! 1900 attack points. It's alright. It's probably better than what I have right now. Way better than what I have right now, but I don't want to use it yet. I'm thinking we start going for it. We gotta start rushing. Oh no! It's a man-eater bug! 
destroy my Kaiser Dragon instantly! Well, shit! There goes my entire strategy! Down, down, down the shitter! And all it took was one face-down card, and it just did me in! Well, fuck me! Again, pardon the language, but at least I destroyed two of his good monsters. Oh, did you really think that was necessary? You put your monster in attack mode! Oh, if only I left my Neko Gal number two in defense mode. Could have gotten two strikes right there. The thing about Weevil, he's crafty, but sometimes he's also dumb. Like, oh yeah, my mana debug destroyed your strongest monster, so I'll just attack a face-down monster with that same card, even though, even with the field point bonus, what's his attack, 950? That was just a terrible waste of a card. Man, that was a substantial blow to his life points. Okay, he... He actually is still attacking this. That worries me. Like, what is that card? I feel like I gotta find out. I have to start moving another unit in. Should I do this? Yeah, I'll do it. End my turn. This fight is actually going pretty interesting, I will admit. Like, it's not set in stone right now. Going to defense mode. Okay. This might be just what I need to win. Could be another man or bug, too. I gotta worry about that. I don't know what that card is. It's a dungeon worm! Okay, they both get destroyed. Well, that's unfortunate. I like my flame swordsman. Ah, uh, yeah. If only that dungeon worm was a dinosaur, I could have done extra. Well, you had a good run. But, I guess that's gonna be it for ya. Well, that sucks. I'm almost out of monsters, too. Yeah, remember, they have the same amount of attack points, so they both get destroyed. are going pretty interesting, I will admit. It's a big insect, okay. I was worried there'd be another man-eater bug. It's not. I think we got him on the ropes, too. Wow, oh, this monster actually looks pretty cool. It's basically a centaur with fairy wings on his helmet. Look at that sword. I'm gonna try my best to have only like one battle per episode. I felt like because the first battle was short because of my own mistakes, then I can just do another one. There you go, you did your jab. Okay, we're whittling this guy down a little bit. Gotta start moving in now. We're able to do that. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of this uh, fake trap. He doesn't have Harpy's Feather Duster, so I don't think I have to worry about it. I gotta try to get my monsters into his cards are still in attack mode. Remember, I only need to do 1,300 more points of damage. And I got this guy beat. 
Still has 21 cards in his deck? Really? I gotta start moving this guy in. Oh, that's a trap! Infinite Dismissal! For three turns! Okay, this could be annoying. This could get real annoying real fast. Yeah, I think we should just lay and wait for now. Okay, that was just a spell! Or a trap that does nothing! Oh man, that basic insect has very little spaces to move now. And I'm on the forest so I can move two spaces! He's gotta put a card down to defend himself! He's gonna destroy his own card?! Okay, that's weird. Kinda smart though, I will admit. But weird, nonetheless. Okay, he's actually trying to attack me. I'm good for him, I suppose. Uh, let's try this little fusion. Didn't work. Okay. If anything, I just want to expose what that card is. That better not be a man-eater bug. It's a nightmare scorpion! Oh, I'm spellbound for one turn. Oh, hang on, I got a little bit of desync there after this lengthy video. Time out. Okay, everything should be fixed now. Let's continue on here. Alright. I did summon this turn, alright. Well, kind of Kabuto is still garbage in my opinion. Alright, so, I guess we can just move Gods with, with the third eye. Like, we'll leave it over here, actually, come to think of it. That might be the best decision. Use this as bait right now. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass. Hopefully, my two monsters will be back to action real soon. Having that Nightmare Scorpion really stings, no pun intended. Okay, he's moving. It's weird. Why would he move? Ah, Goddess of the Third Eye and Silver Fang. I suppose I can use that to my advantage. Let's try that. Should I try, like, Goddess of the Third Eye and Silver Fang? They might be able to work. I guess we can try. But would it just bite me in the ass? I've had some combinations I've worked with Nico Gal number two before. Maybe this one as well too. It does work! Okay. We're back in business. Oh, you wanna go after this monster? You wanna go after this monster? I dare ya. I double dog dare ya, mofo. Okay, my other Nickel Gale number two can move. Good. We're back in business and we can destroy that Nightmare Scorpion. Not going to attack, huh? I see how it is. I know your games, because I play them too. Uh, here we go. This might work as well, but I got too many monsters. I think we get rid of this Moon Envoy here. And I think we'll put these two together. Actually, let me let my Deckmaster do that. Like, I'll destroy it myself. And then, we start moving this guy around. I'm thinking Lady of Faith and Goddess of the Third Eye. They should be able to go well together. Say hello to the Dark Witch. Ah, it's just a giant flea. Alright. Everything's coming up Millhouse right now. Well, this episode might actually take an hour. I gotta do my best to, like, uh, cut these videos down. I'd say I'll be doing, like, a fair bit of grinding just to make sure that I can get plenty of good cards from this battle. That way my deck will be a little bit better against Rex. I think Rex will be my next opponent. Nothing sexier than a woman that feels powerful, even if she's got pointy ears. 
Okay. Time for us to get on the move. You're toast now. Luckily, you can only spell by me once. Oh, you're cornered now, Weevil! You got to beg for mercy! I'm gonna wait for this guy to actually move before I start going on the offense. My Air Knight Parshath can move again. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You can only hope to defend right now. It's amazing what a little bit of patience can do. And because I'm on the forest, I can move twice! Wait, I got an idea. Let me prolong this. Like, because, you know, whatever monsters you can get is determined by what monsters are in your opponent's graveyard. And if you put a lot of monsters in there, you get a lot of variety. But, at the same time, you might want to consider, like, putting less in there if you know that the good stuff is already in there. Increases your odds. So look at that, we won! We had no business winning, it looked dire, but man, once we got those fusions, everything just started to come back. Okay, so you gotta time it carefully, like, even if you don't pair up three in a row, you're still gonna win cards. Whatever you win is determined by what it stops on. Infinite Dismissal is really good. Insect Armor, basic arm, armor with laser cannon. Okay, so I only got one monster. Insect Armor with laser cannon is not going to help me because I don't have any insects. Except for a giant flea. That's pretty much it. If anything, I'm just happy to get Infinite Dismissal. Because at least now I have a, a competent trap to use. Rather than fake trap. No! I lost! This can't be happening! Alright, so we got ourselves a rose card. It's one down, seven more to go. And we unlock two more paths. Okay, there's one over there in uh, Lancashire, or Lancashire, we got Pegasus, and Towton is Bandit Keith. But I say we're gonna be going to Tewksbury next to take on uh, Rex Raptor. I'll be using this time to, like, uh, Grind up some more battles against Weevil so I can get better cards. If I can get a manual book, that'll be great addition to my deck. See everybody, thanks for watching.